Good morning. Hey, the people have accepted false prophets. What's God going to do about this? So let's read our writing. It's Jeremiah 29, verses 15 to 20. Because you have said, the Lord has raised up prophets for us in Babylon. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king who sits on the throne of David, concerning all the people who dwell in this city, and concerning your brethren who have not gone out with you into captivity. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send on them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like rotten figs that cannot be eaten, they are so bad. And I will pursue them with the sword, with famine, and with pestilence, and I will deliver them to trouble among all the nations of, of the earth, to be a curse, an astonishment, a hissing, and a reproach among all the nations where I have driven them, because they have not heeded my words, says the Lord, which I sent to them by my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, Neither would you heed, says the Lord. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord, all you of the captivity whom I have sent from Jerusalem to Babylon. So here's a word, and remember what the warning that God gave a couple of mornings ago when they went to Babylon. He said, don't listen to your false prophets. Don't listen to those who, who dream their own dreams, who are basically outside my plan. Don't listen to them. Don't nurture that. Don't do it to yourself. It's bad news. Don't do it. And here they are. They've been taken captive in Babylon because God is chastening them. He's overturning all the corruption of the kingdom, kind of give it a jump start in a period of time. And so they've been sent to Babylon. They've kind of got a spanking here. They have been sent here to be chastened. What goes very well with people who are unsubdued to the Lord? False prophets. And what are the false prophets going to do? They're going to tell them all kinds of nonsense about what God is supposedly going to do for them. But God already told them through the prophet Jeremiah, 70 years you guys are going to be in Babylon. There's not going to be any magic carpet right out of there before that. Don't be planning on that. So here you have uh, these people. They've accepted the false prophets. God said, don't do it. So what's going to happen? God's going to send on them the sword, famine, and pestilence. It isn't going to be any party. This is going to be bad news. And God is going to, they've chosen to be in opposition to him. He is going to undo them because they have chosen rebellion. And after all of his efforts. So this is the sad piece here. Uh, the word of the Lord is to those that are uh, unfaithful. God has sent his prophets. You haven't listened. Now uh, here comes very strong reaction from God. He has to do this because otherwise people will be silly and listen to the false prophets. And that's not what we want. You know, false prophets are kind of like high fructose corn syrup spiritually. Uh, it's poisonous. It's truly, literally poisonous for you to not be on God's plan at this time. And he's, that's why he sends true prophets. And wherever there's true prophets, you'll find some false prophets roaming around trying to get people off into the edges so the devil can destroy them there. What we want to do is be right, and God will help us but if we go after and just say, yep, we're buying into the false prophets, it's going to be bad news all the way around. So let's be in the right place at the, with, with God's word and sort out the true from the false, because we do not want to be subject to these false prophets. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, it's sad when we read about this continuing rebellion, but people who stay in continuous rebellion, they are setting themselves up to be misused by false prophets and false presenters, false preachers, people telling the wrong spiritual story, an unbiblical spiritual story. Lord, help us to heed this experience, this warning. Uh, help us so that we don't ever go there. Help us to be ready to sort out the true prophets from the false. Help us to accept what is true, which usually is harder for us. Uh, we, we don't want to go that way. We want the smooth and easy route. Help us to choose the route that you have chosen for us, Lord, as our heavenly parent, as our heavenly father. You know what we need to be ready for the intense things that are coming on this world. So help us to be right and help us not to go in this pattern we're seeing here. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So we need to avoid the outcome of the false prophets. God sends the sword, famine, and pestilence. These who have chosen to be rebels against him, they are really setting themselves up for the harshest treatment. I hope some of them repented. He's always ready for us to repent. But sometimes we are so stubborn, we just go straight on into the brick wall. May it not happen to us today. God be with you and I.